Everybody, so as some of you guys know, I am home in Texas right now, working at my local hospital. I'm like shadowing a bunch of doctors and things like that. But today is my first night shift. So it goes 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. And it's currently like 8.30 p.m. So I'm gonna take you through prepping for my first night shift and <laughs> how it goes. I just took like a nap, like an hour nap. And now I'm gonna get ready, try to wake myself up and get ready to go. I don't know. I don't know if the ER is crazier in the middle of the night or if it's slower, who knows? Maybe it'll be a really slow 10 hour shift. I don't know, but let's get ready to go. Oh, to make me breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did. We actually did you breakfast. Oh, See? so kind. I know, I'm very kind. See? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so before I fell asleep, I was outside swimming, so I'm gonna take a shower really fast. Maybe a cold shower. Try to wake myself up, and then um, get ready to go. I still feel half asleep. <laughs> Here are my fresh new scrubs. This is also the pantry right now. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Reading. I'm getting ready for the day. The day? <laughs> oh yeah. Work. Work. This is where the other half of my clothes are. She hasn't put them on the shelf yet. No, why are, why are they here? The house is getting renovated. Yeah. Okay, so, like Paige was saying, our house is currently being renovated, so we're in a rental house right now, which is why my clothes are like in three different rooms. I don't see my part right now. Not straight at all. But I can't find my comb. So like, do you get ready for the day? Like, am I supposed to put on makeup? This didn't come with an instruction manual. This feels pointless. <laughs> Let's go. So all the rest of my scrubs are in the dryer because I washed them earlier. So I'm gonna grab them now before I leave. Wow, so it is extremely dark. Darker than I thought it was gonna be out here. But I'm all ready to go. This is my longest shift yet also. I've usually only worked, I think I have the longest, actually, sorry, to take back my words. I think I've worked almost a 10 hour shift, but it was because I stayed longer. My longest one that I have scheduled, I think is eight hours. Yeah, I'm excited, I'm ready. Ask me in six hours how I'm feeling, but for right now, I love being in the emergency room. It's so fun. I'm ready to go in there and see see some really cool learning experiences, which is why I'm here. So to answer a few questions there, um, I'm currently a pre-med student. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm studying neuroscience. And I am in like the couple of months to like a year before applying to medical school. I'm wanting to try to apply next cycle. Obviously there's lots that go into that. So we'll see, we're playing it by ear. Um, but I am like getting my application ready and part of your application as a medical student to like apply to medical school. You have all these classes, um, basically like a whole other major of classes. And then the MCAT of course, which is enough, <laughs> you know, just by itself. But then you also have to have a certain amount of shadowing hours. Um, like shadowing other doctors, clinical hours, research hours, um, service hours, and things like that. So that's what I've been working on recently, like leadership hours and things like that. So that's why I'm back here doing my shadowing hours. I think by the end of the month, I'll have clocked like 120 hours or something, which is well above what I need. Um, but I'm really enjoying it and it's been so much fun. And I feel like I've gotten so much exposure, exposure to like so many things in just the past two weeks. So it's been amazing and um, 
if anything showed me that I, I definitely do want to become a doctor um, or even further than that just because I've enjoyed so much the time I spent at the hospital. So it's been amazing and I am ready to go so I'm not late for my shift. Okay, so I just got to the hospital. Looks like there's lots of cars here, which is sad. Um, but it means I got my work cut out for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in and I will let you guys know how I'm feeling at seven o'clock in the morning. I obviously can't film anything in there, HIPAA. Um, but I will let you know if I'm alive in the coming hours. <laughs> I made it out alive. <laughs> well, here I am. That was long, just because it was a long shift. But like, if I'm being honest, I think being a college student is more tiring than than that shift was. Like, I'm feeling. I'm feeling more rested still than I ever have, like in finals week or something like that. It's not too bad. I'm de that last, like the last like two hours was really slow. Um, it was kind of a slow night in general, so kind of just a lot of sitting around, which made it feel longer. But all in all, not too bad. So I'm gonna go home. And I know as soon as I see my bed, I'll be crashing. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be I'm gonna go home now. I'm glad that it's light outside though. It'd be a lot harder to drive. Like, I feel like I feel more awake because it's light outside. It's hard when my shift ends at like midnight or like one, those are tough. Now that I'm home, I'm gonna re-get ready for bed and take a big fat nap. <laughs> we'll see what time I wake up. Then I'll recap y'all on my thoughts. Good morning, everybody. I am awake and alive and feeling good. I woke up after my nap, after my shift, and got ready, and I do not feel that disoriented. And maybe that is because I'm a college student, and like being a college student, you just go with any sleep you can get, so this doesn't phase me too much. Or maybe it wasn't actually that bad. I don't know. I feel like I could really thrive on night shifts. I, I did really, really enjoy it. It wasn't as busy as the day shifts, which was kind of slow, but it was overall like pretty chill and really nice, and I really enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my first night shift ever. Hiccup is still here asleep. You'd think he was the one working all night. He sleeps all day long, I don't understand it. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along. Um, I know sometimes you guys like following along with all my school stuff and education stuff, so that's fun for me to share. And let me know if you guys wanna see some more of this, and I will see you next time. Bye.